Hello everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. Before we thoroughly discuss the rational exponents and radical expressions, let's have a short review about the laws of exponents. This is your lesson when you were in grade 7. We will be needing this laws of exponent because we are dealing with the radicals and the rational exponents. So we will apply this law in our in your grade 9 lesson. Okay, let's discuss the 1 to 7 laws. The first one is the product law. In product law, if you have the same base, x raised to m times x raised to n is equal to, if you have the same base, we're just going to add the exponent. So x raised to m plus n. That is the product law. The second is the quotient law. x raised to m over x raised to n. So if we have the same base, in, in this case we have x. So x raised to m minus n. So quotient, we're just going to subtract the exponent. Power of a power. Power is another term for the exponent. So, x raised to m raised to n. So, we have two exponents. So, that is x, the base. Then, we're just going to multiply m times n, m, n. And the fourth one, power of a product. So, quantity x, y raised to n. Power of a product. We have a product inside the parenthesis. Then we have the power or the exponent. So that is x raised to n, y raised to n. The fifth one, power of a quotient. So quotient raised to our exponent. So that is x raised to n over y raised to n. And negative exponent, if we have x raised to negative n, so that is equal to 1 over x raised to n. Or 1 over x raised to n, that is equal to x raised to n. Let us uh, explain one by one later. So, last one, the zero exponent. x raised to 0 is equal to 1. So, any number raised to 0, except for 0, that is equal to 1. So, that is, that is the loads of exponent. Now, let us apply the following laws to better understand. So I have here 1 to 10 problems. We're going to simplify using our laws of exponent. If you want to try numbers 1 to 10, you can pause the video. Then after answering, resume watching to check your answers. Okay, now let's check. 2 cubed times 2 squared. Our base is 2. So we're going to apply the product law. So base, copy. Then we're going to add the exponent. 3 plus 2, that is 5. Now, simplify. That is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That is equal to 32. Next, 3 squared over 3 raised to 1. We're going to apply the quotient law. We're just going to subtract the exponent since we have the same base. So copy the base. Now subtract 2 minus 1. That is 1. 3 raised to 1. That is simply Next, 2 cubed raised to 3. So power to a power. Power of a power. So copy the base, which is 2. Then multiply. 3 times 2, that is 6. So 
2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Your answer is 64. 64, right? Because 2 raised to 5 is 32 times 2 will give us 2 raised to 6 and 2 raised to 6 is 64. Next, number 4. Quantity 2x raised to 3. Rule number 4 or law number 4, power of a product. So this is equal to 2 cubed times x cubed. We need to simplify 2 cubed. That is 2 times 2 times 2. Which give us 8. Then copy x cubed. And number 5, quantity 3x, y raised to negative 2, raised to 3. So we have power of a product and also negative exponent. Okay, so this is equal to 3 cubed. We have x cubed. And y, negative 2 times 3, that is negative 6. Negative 2 times 3, negative 6. We applied power of a power. Now simplify 3 cubed. That is 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9 times 3, 27. Then we have x cubed, negative exponent, negative exponent, so that is equal to over y raised to negative 6. So in denominator, that is y raised to 6. This will be our final answer. 27x cubed over y raised to 6. And for number 6, 3 raised to negative 2, so that is equal to 1 over 3 raised to 2, negative exponent. Simplify our denominator, that is 1 over 3 squared, it will give us 9. Next, 3x raised to negative 2. We have a negative exponent for our variable. So that is equal to 3 over x raised to 2. And number 8, 5 raised to 0. We have the 0 exponent. So this is equal to positive 1. And number 9, 3 x raised to 0, x raised to 0, that is equal to 1. So that is 3 times 1. And 3 times 1 can be written in simplest form, that is 3. And 3x raised to 0, that is equal to 1. So see the relationship? In number 9, x is raised to 0. But in number 10, quantity 3x raised to 0. That means our final answer is 1. And that's our review for the laws of exponent. For our next video, we'll be discussing the introduction for the rational exp rational exponents and radical expressions so try to practice exercises or try to answer the exercises in your modules or in your books to master this topic laws of exponents once again thank you for watching senior pablo tv